Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and today I'm with the Chicago expert from GTC International Logistics who will be sharing with, with us a few ideas or a few procedures that someone can go through to start shipping via Chicago and of course the experience you can get from GTC International Logistics. Let's come back. Welcome back from the break and today we are honored to have with us here an expert from the GTC Chicago department who's going to be sharing a few ideas with us. She's going to be introducing herself to us. Hi everyone, my name is Gloria and I'm the Dispatches Officer Chicago from GTC International Logistics. I am honored to be here and I'm specifically here to answer a few questions that you people have about shipping with GTC Cargo through sea. Okay, thank you so much, Gloria. No, and okay. I'm going to head on straight to the questions. Um, the first question is, uh, Gloria, people are very curious. Mm -hmm. Everyone is asking, what is GTC, like what is Chicago in GTC? The shipping in of your goods from China to Uganda through sea or through the water. That's a very sweet answer. Yes. Yes, and I myself, I think I'll buy one of those. And thank the you. other thing is that, um, Gloria, uh, if you could share with our few viewers here, if, how does someone start shipping with sea? Okay, that's a very good question. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, first and foremost, one needs to have a supplier. When I talk about a supplier, I mean the person where you're going to buy your goods from. Once you are done with your supplier that is purchasing the goods, you're done with clearing your supplier, your supplier will have to deliver your goods to our warehouse. We have two warehouses, one in Guangzhou and the other in Yuwo. So wherever your supplier is comfortable with or you are comfortable with, you can bring in your goods. And once your goods get to our warehouse, we shall be updating you that we have received your goods. In the update, we shall include the quantity that we have received, the weight of your goods, and the CBMs. By sea cargo, we charge per CBM. Not like air cargo where you do kilograms. Okay, sorry to cut you short, but okay, if I may ask, what exactly is a CBM? A CBM is the cubic meter, or I can say the volume that your goods are going to occupy in the container. So that is the CBM. And uh, once we send you that update, we shall ask you whether we should load your goods or you are still adding one more goods. If you're still adding one more goods, you can. Uh, you have a right to tell us, hold on, and then we shall hold on, keep the goods in the warehouse as we wait for the more goods to come in. Mm -hmm. But if you're very okay with what we have got, then you just confirm that we should load the goods. Once okay. you confirm, we load your goods in the container, mm -hmm. then once you have confirmed for your goods to be loaded, we shall put them in the container, send you an update of the date when your goods will be reaching at the port in Mombasa. And once the goods get to Mombasa, we normally take a week from Mombasa to Kampala because the goods have to go through Mombasa customs. So once the goods get to Kampala, we shall still update you that your container has arrived in the bond, mm -hmm. give you the name of the bond where the goods have arrived so that uh, you can easily go to the bond for verification of your goods. You need to be there when your goods are being verified or your clearing agent has to be there when your goods are being verified. Yes, and after the verification, we shall have to go through the URA process, which normally takes like a week. And within that week, we shall be giving you your transfer documents because we transfer the goods from the GTC team mm -hmm. to your personal team or to any team that you have provided to us. And once we are done, we shall give you the transfer documents. Then you proceed with paying the taxes and get your goods. Wow. That is it. Wow. Actually, that's a very easy one. To see International Logistics today. Your trust, our mission.